when you see him on stage, you feel Terry on stage. I mean, he brings an energy and an expectation. It was electric. You could feel it running through the audience. When Terry steps onto that stage, he does bring his passion and his energy for the music. It's contagious. Terry had so quickly risen to the top of the search committee's list with overwhelming support from the musicians. They saw in him a, a leader that had the musicianship and the passion to take them to the next level, and he has. We talked about his aspirations and vision for the orchestra, and he said we need to recruit and build the orchestra. We need have more artistic excellence so that we can showcase it. We can travel around the state and even go to Carnegie Hall. I was impressed by his vision and where he wanted to go. One of my favorite moments with Thierry is just before the concert starts, when we're off stage and I'm about to come out and tune the orchestra. And, you know, a lot of conductors really are, you know, in the zone and very unapproachable during this time, but he's just full of energy and enthusiasm for what we're about to do. It really lightens the mood and really relaxes you before, you know, in such a crucial moment, just the moments before a performance. It feels great to be on stage with, with someone who has uh, this kind of empathy that as I'm playing, he knows what I'm going to do next just because he's feeling it with me. It's just really um, such an empathetic person. Being on stage, playing a concert with him is really a conversation. Um, it is always evolving. It can be anything in any moment, and I, I really love that. Terry loves to sometimes speak in metaphors. Um, which can be really evocative at times, other times quite amusing. Um, he, he'll say, you know, it's like a boy in, in front of a church in short pants. And then that gets a giggle out of everyone. So he really loves to describe the music in those terms. Some of my favorite memories are, of course, going skiing, going up to Deer Valley and taking a few turns with him. And he's just so lovely and approachable. Early on, when he, when he arrived, he drove to our house in a pickup truck. And I thought, a European maestro comes to Utah, and the first thing he does when he arrives is buy a pickup truck. I think that he embraced the community in such a warm, wholehearted way that the community embraced him back. I always think of the Utah Symphony as really the key leader in the arts in Utah. And to have Terry as our music director and our conductor for all of these 14 years has just been such a treasure. He has supported so many other organizations. He is active with NOVA. He has worked with some school students at various of the high schools. I think Terry's been so invested in getting out in the community. You know, we've been, we do these tours around Utah. He loves to get out and meet people. And that's such an amazing, warm, and valuable characteristic of his just as a human. He just really wants to connect. Terry, we are so grateful as a community, that we have had your talent and your time these last 14 years. Thierry, we want you to find all the joy and success in your next position that you can muster. Thierry, I can't believe that it's been 14 years and that you're moving on. It can't be. And we feel very strongly that you more than accomplished the things that you set out to do. And we're just proud that you take us along for the ride. Thierry, first of all, thanks for hiring me. I am so excited uh, to watch as your career continues, and I know you'll be traveling all over the world, and I can't wait to play with you again. Thank you, Terry, for all you have done for Utah Symphony and Utah Opera. We are grateful for the time that we had with you and wish you all the success in the world as you continue. You deserve a bravo standing ovation, my friend.